Hey guys, I'm Jason here. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be taking a look at the latest features of Mind Test 0.4.15, which was just released on Friday, December 23rd, 2016. Before we actually get into this, yes, this is a re upload. In fact, it's actually more of a remake. After I uploaded the original version of this video, somebody told me that I had made several mistakes in it, as well as including features that weren't actually 0.4.15, so I just figured I'd remake it, get it all right, and hopefully it's better quality as well, too. Let's get into it. To kick things off, four new building blocks and stairs and slabs for each have been introduced. Stone blocks, obsidian blocks, desert stone blocks, and sandstone blocks. These are essentially like polished blocks as we can see back here. Just the sandstone, the stair, the desert, all that type of stuff, you know. Just essentially in polished and nicer looking form. I know a lot of people have wanted something like Optifine for Minecraft but in mind test. Well, now we have it. With the zoom privilege, which you can get by typing slash grant me zoom, you can press and hold the Z key and you can zoom in and look at things farther away. It's honestly a really nice feature. It's just, I don't know, it's just so cool. Now this is something I think that people have wanted for a long time. I myself have definitely wanted it. I'm really happy about it. Mind Test finally has tarps that you can ride in and rails to put the tarps on. There's just a normal tart and then there's a brake rail which obviously slows it down a normal rail and a powered rail. If we grab the card here, we can see the little track I've made here. Place it down, right click to get in. The mechanics are a little bit weird. Punch the cart to go forwards and then you'll get moving. It's a little bit weird going up and even weirder going down, but still honestly really neat. And if we shift and left click, we can break it. And the physics are in there properly. For example, if we place it down, get in and try and go this way, it won't actually make it up the hill. Now this will be a little bit laggy in multiplayer, but still honestly, a really nice addition. The mind test world has honestly been getting a little bit cold. The node boxes for snow have been changed like a couple times before the release. At one point you could stand inside the snow, now you're back to on top of it. And for the colder deserts, silver sand has been added. It's essentially just sand, except more silvery, to give more of a cold effect. Now this is one of those little things that's, you know, not really that important, but just something that's really nice to have. Finally, in the inventory search box, you can just type in what you want to find. Let's say that we want to find a tree, and we can just press enter. I didn't press the button right here, you can just press enter. This honestly is something that to me is maybe even better than the tarts. Not really, I guess, but still, I've wanted it for a long time. Torches, they are finally 3D, meaning that you don't get at this perfect angle and it entirely disappears. The torch is actually now a 3D model that you can see in place. The actual item image is still the same, but that's just to keep things as simple as possible. An extra tool has been added to the Mindtest debugging tools, that being wireframe mode. You can access this by pressing F5 three times, but before that you need to make sure you have the debug crypt. You can get this by typing slash grant me debug. Then if you press F5 one, two, and then finally three times, Mindtest goes into wireframe mode which could be very, very useful for testing things, getting a basic idea of how they are actually designed rather than having to look at the texture, which would make it harder to see the actual structure of the item. Now this here is something that's honestly really cool, but sadly I can't demonstrate it in this video, but remember to subscribe and hopefully I can put a video up pretty soon that shows how this actually works. But essentially, the player hand can now be overridden which means that you're not stuck with just this hand that looks like this. But now, mods can actually override the hand and register a new texture for it for each player. That way the skins can also apply to the hand as well. Now this is honestly pretty cool. I've wanted this for quite a while as well. Still not as much or as long as tarts, but I've wanted it for a while. Cacti is now actually shaped like you'd find cacti. 
sadly it still doesn't damage you but hopefully that will come in a future release tnt has been improved a ton so that when you blow up a larger area it doesn't lag your computer out as much and blocks are even thrown up into the air so you know let's grab some tnt here and take a look see how it works so i've made a little hole here to test out the tnt so let's use the brand new flint and steel which can light the tnt by punching the tnt and let's watch this blow there we go we can see one block flew up and then landed back down if you do it right you might have a ton of blocks fly out which is really cool sadly tnt cannons are not yet possible as tnt will still blow up the things around it even if it's in water which essentially would just blow up your cannon in mine test 0.4.15 boat mechanics have been updated from what i've found out there isn't actually much change that you'll be able to see but if we just get, go for a little ride here it does seem a little bit more responsive to turning things like that a little bit easier to use another interesting thing while we're here on the water is that there is finally sound when you're swimming so if we just hop off the boat here and jump in the water there we can hear it really neat there have been mods that have done this in the past but hopefully this was actually implemented quite well that way it will work well on servers sea coral is now a thing in mine test there's three different types there's brown coral orange coral and coral skeleton take a look at them right here honestly looks pretty cool orange coral looks the coolest though coral skeleton looks pretty good too coral can be found at the bottom of oceans and if it's exposed to the air for too long either one of these two will turn into coral skeleton which is honestly pretty cool bones have been updated who would have thought honestly it's not that big of a change the only difference is that the texture has changed take a look here you can actually do something really cool with this new texture if you build a little thing facing the right direction either north or south it's honestly really cool check this out you can actually build something that looks like a guy lying in the grave really cool addition in my opinion not that big of a thing it's actually really hard to do but you know it, that's just plain cool this has been possible before 0.4.15 in a mod called keys by so far but it has now been merged into mind test game itself so you don't need the mod at all skeleton keys you can use them to open locked chests doors or trap doors if you just right click on the chest the key the skeleton key will turn into a key and then you can give this to your friends or whoever you want and they can open the chest or right click on the door and then they can open the door as well very neat you can see that if you try and right click on the chest it doesn't work but if you use the right key it does work whenever a tool breaks it's always been just suddenly the tool's gone there's no audio feedback well now that's changed if we take our tool run over to some grass here and we see that the tool is just about to break if we try and do one more thing with it if we listen very closely we'll hear the tool breaking sound very nice to actually have some audio feedback when something like this happens rather than just it's gone and that's it listen to it again all the different tools have different sounds to my knowledge i haven't been able to test it though as i wasn't really up for getting a diamond or something down that low wrapping things up is what i'd like to say is the most notable map gen change bushes have been introduced there's acacia bushes and just plain old bushes they look something like this in a normal situation except they're of course always found on grass there's the acacia bush bush which actually looks pretty cool from what i've seen the bushes typically have two blocks missing i think it's random i'm not sure though over at the normal bush, I've seen two bushes spawn together, just like we have right here. The block's missing as well. Honestly, pretty cool. It's really nice to see the map generation expanding to have something new to look at. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. And subscribe too for more awesome content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.